Hello, this is Jeff Ryland with Abundant Design. This corner of the house could really use something to um, focus on. Something in this uh, rounded out area for a focal point. Such a nice spot. The hostas here are on the east side of the house. They didn't really grow much this year. We'll use sumac. And this is sumac, um, beautiful red fall color. And these um, seed heads or sumac berries are uh, high in vitamin C and can be used to make a lemonish flavor tea that uh, is, is high in vitamin C as well. So uh, I'll grab one of these and uh, take it back home and plant it. We'll rake the mulch back. Plant right in the center. Sumac will make some nice shade for these hosta plants as well and see if we can make them look a little healthier. Pretty nice dirt, digs nice, it's loose, it's got good organic matter. Okay, so time might or might not have gotten away from me for a little bit. So we've got our little sumac trees here. A little grass. Don't want them too deep. Not deeper than what they were used to. And we'll plant these and water them in good. Now that the ground's frozen pretty good, um, go ahead and mulch it with some, some leaves and some of the irises and daylilies that uh, we just uh, trimmed the tops off of. That will uh, keep the ground temperature fairly consistent, um, not a lot of freeze and thawing, and um, also probably provide a little nutrient um, as that breaks down. As the sumac turns red in fall, it will really complement the burning bush along the side of the house. And if you would like help with your garden, um, give me a call, shoot me an email, and we can get a design going so that you can have a sustainable, edible, and regenerative landscape um, that's better for you and for the environment. Take care.